All right, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Falcon here with episode number something uh, where Pokemon Gaia Let's Play. In the last episode, we went ahead and took on the fifth gym here in Telmark and got some info on the new elders as well as taking out the mighty, mighty Yenas. <laughs> in today's video, we're going to be making our way through the underground path and making our way through the next part of the game. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the uh, like button down below. Also, hit subscribe. It's in the bottom right corner of the video and right below the video, as always. But first, let's go ahead and get a quick party recap. So first up, we have Emperor Arm Pulley on level 38. Uh, rocking Aqua Jet Surf, Metal Claw, and Grass Knot. Decided to teach him Grass Knot off screen. Uh, Real Steel, our Sizzle, level 37. Rocking Early Steel Wing, U-Turn, and Fury Cutter. Of course, rocking that Choice Band. Uh, Billy, our Girder, level 36. Rocking the EXP Shares because he's slacking a little bit. Uh, rocking Low Kick, Bulk Up, Rock Slide, and Focus Energy. And new member to the party, Optimus, our Rotom, level 36. Got him caught up in levels. Uh, he's a nice electric ghost type with Levitate, Rocket Shockwave, Ominous Wind, Substitute, and Confuse Ray. And of course we have Miguel, our Charizard, level 37, with the Charizard Y, walking, Rocking Fire Fang, Flame Burst, Dragon Rage, and Aerial Ace. And of course Muhammad, our Don Fan, is still on the party. But, as of right now, we have Georgia, the Bundle Bee, on the party. Because, remember at the end of the last episode, I figured I'd go ahead off screen. And figured out I could go see where you could find the coin case. Because I was really curious to see where... Like, not only the prizes that we could get from, like, Pokemon-wise, but also TM-wise. Because I'm also low-key trying to get a Flash Cannon on Empoleon. So, I figured out that coming in here... And actually, wait, why does the, fig why does the game feel... Why, why, why does the game feel like it's going... Eh. Everything seems to be running fine. Uh, but since we do have the storage key, we can come in here... And then, as you can see, we have this whole little underground area. Uh, we're right over here. We can pick up Antidote. And there's also a lot of cool Pokemon in these, like, sewers as including Trubbish, Sandshrew, which is really cool. But, Diglett, of course. Rock Smash that, we can get this Iron. But then, if we can get past all the million encounters, uh, we can take on this guy. We can get a nice little electrode action. But if we actually smash. If it'll let me. Smash this rock. And we get another electrode. <laughs> but then if we come all the way back here. That is where we find the coin case. And as you can see by the layout, probably, unless you're blind, then, uh, my bad dog. If we come up here, this is where you can change your Rotom forms. So obviously we could have the advantage to get Rotom. Heat, Fan, Frost, Wash, but the one we're going to be going with is actually Rotom Mo, because I figured it's nice having an electric grass type um, on the party, or actually we're going to get rid of Leap, uh, Substitute for Leaf Storm, but I figured it would be nice to have like the electric grass coverage uh, on the team, especially since we have a grass immunity now, not a grass immunity, but a ground immunity that doesn't have to worry about getting slapped by rocks. Because uh, with Levity, and then obviously it's got really good coverage in all these moves. So I figured it would be good. So unfortunately that means we are going to be benching our little Glaceon. But, I mean, I did say when we started using Glaceon, I didn't know how permanent a party member it would be. And also, like, you know, um, we can just get Ice Beam on Emperor. So it's not like we won't have anything, really, that we could take out. Uh, like dragon types or anything but since we have a coin case let's see what we can get, get Chatot, Smeargle, Tyrogue, Swirlix, and Porygon Porygon is a little interesting I'm not gonna lie but I'm not sure uh, just how much really I'm willing to use Porygon oh dude excuse me child Wait, we went before. You're Charles' age, right? So you're not the same trainer who helped battle at Subalo. Oh, oh, you are. Outstep, blah, blah, blah. Charles has recruited quite the project. I knew those new elders were up to no good. Now I must dash, but if you're headed past here, you'll need this. It's HMO5 Rock Climb. Uh, rock Climb lets you scale the rocky walls and tell them It's a pleasure meeting you again. Oh, this is embarrassing. I've forgotten your name. What was it? Ah, Falcon, of course. Wonderful name indeed. Very well. Good luck on your journey, Falcon. Um, I was actually going to say... Um, I'm actually going to be keeping... 
funnel be on the team just in case there's anything like can get Skarmory up here that's sick uh but just in case we can actually find anything uh whatchamacallit anything like cool that we could do also might be able to learn rock slide or not i'm trying to remember what... oh okay we got paralyzed uh, but you might be able to learn rock climb, which we should actually check out now. And the only one who can learn it is... <gasps> they have Haluchas! Um, but the only one who can actually learn it is Emperor, which I really don't want to do. So he is a normal type, so... I'm actually going to smack the EXP share on G Georgia right now, just so we can get her up to levels and then hopefully we can just get a bunch of nice that's not what I meant to do a bunch of nice trainer battles so now actually we're going to see some from blah, 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 blah. some love from Optimus here for a second oh we actually have Hariyama coming out so Banded Scizor coming out and we definitely have to get this thing to level Oh, which one call it? Level 20 at least. And, dude, you have a friggin' Rhyhorn? one? And a Macho? Let's actually go ahead. Get this dude up. Get blah, blah, blah. get this dude up and out of here. Uh, I'm gonna actually, so I don't have to waste anything. Super potion real quick. Uh, did you hear some of the Pokemon living underneath the rocks? You can jump out and attack if you can break the rock. Okay. And, ooh, we got uh, Golbat. Shockwave and Swoobat. Ooh, I just actually realized we could probably. If we can just get one more attacking move on Rotom, I can actually give him the choice specs. Um, but it actually turns out that we have to get to level 20. So I don't want to waste my rare candies on him just in case. You see how much? Okay. Get one more level up. Go ahead and break the sash. Uh, it's dirty on you. One more level up against this little magmar. And only got two rare candies. Let's just go ahead and use them on Georgia. And now let's just go ahead and quickly get Georgia up to level 20 because then hopefully. Oh, we got paralyzed, and then hopefully we'll be able to, uh, what you call it, be able to teach her rock slide or rock climb. I mean, there we go. Double kick, no. Evolve Georgia into a Diggersby. Try and learn double kick again, and rock. I gotta have some Pokemon. There's gotta be a Pokemon in my friggin' box I can learn. Nope. Alright, come on. Hang on. Uh, why do I have the odd suspicion that Don Fan learns it? Which, I don't really want to teach my Don Fan. I have the EXP share on him. God damn it. Um, I don't want to teach my Don Fan an HM, really, but. I mean, at least he, there's, there's worse moves to have on him, I guess, if that makes sense. And really? Not a single one will learn. Hang on. You have. <sighs> okay, this is gonna take a second. I know for a fact you don't. Where's that manky? That is not what I meant to do at all. You, I know, doesn't learn rock slime. You don't learn rock climb. There you are. Yes, hurt yourself in confusion. Not gonna nickname him. Okay, if I can. Pick up Mankey, put Dolphin in the box, because he's the highest leveled. There we go. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Okay, heal my Pokemon up yet again. Uh, remember where the where the friggin' underground path is. 
I mean, all right. Now we can just continue our way, and actually we have a few ways to go through. So let's actually see what... If I can open the chest. TM01. What is... What is TM01? Magic Shine. The user emits a powerful flash hitting all foes that no one can learn. All right. Sick. We actually haven't seen a cave like that since Clefairy. Um, we are able to actually now uh, climb up here, which does open up a bit more than... Ooh, you have a Needle Queen. Oh, it does actually open up more of area up to us. And I meant to click Leaf Storm. <laughs> and now I forgot because we had put it on Georgia. We actually have to put the EXP share uh, back on Billy here. And I actually, I know for a fact there is an item to evolve Billy into a, um, what do you call it, a Kinkelder. Um, it's just really being able to find said item. That is going to be the most difficult part. <laughs> I'm being honest. And you know what? Screw it. Let's just fight as many trainers as we possibly can. I didn't see what he was going out to. Lanoon! Let's go out between Optimus and everything. Um, then we should be a Milotic. Okay, you. Okay, now at least some skill. Fucking beautiful. Um. Okay. Now we have a Lapras, dude? Okay. I have a punch kills. Um, but hopefully... I think we're actually coming pretty close to finishing... Um, finishing this game. I don't want to say pretty close to finishing this game, because it feels like it was only just yesterday we really started playing the game. Um, but it does feel like we're getting like, closer towards the end, which is exciting, because it's like finally was able to beat this freaking game but at the same time it's also like i don't know what series to do next like after the gaia it's like it's just like that oh like um uh, hey like that one thing you were really passionate on hey it's coming to an end so now you have to find a new thing to be passionate on and it's just like ooh. Uh, <laughs> uh but i do have two really fun projects i'm starting that i just started working on which I feel like are actually going to be bangers in their own right, which is super exciting. Um, but also, uh, I do need like a new series to start after this, because I really like playing through the ROM hacks, but it's just like, it's really finding that ROM hack that's like, whoa. Um, one thing, what's this? Primus Island Diving Tours. This is where we get DM Dive, HM Dive. Ooh, we can switch into a dive ball. Can we actually... That's sick! I like that! We can just switch. This is actually the first time our starter has not been in a Pokeball, which is sick in its own. Um, oh, but that's awesome. Oh, wait, we're on the next town, straight up. And there's a gym! That is awesome. Um... What was I saying? But like, okay, yeah, but uh, the two new videos I'm actually I'm really excited to be working on, and it definitely is just giving me like that, like, ooh, like that giddiness. But uh, they call me Miss Move, a stupid name. Promise not to call me, okay? Very well. I can remember Pokemon once, so once in return. Don't ever call me Miss Move ever. Do you want me to teach you? Ooh. We can get Swords Dance on, em on Empoleon? Uh, what other moves can we... Hell yeah, I'm getting discharged instead of Shockwave. Now I'm just looking through. Nothing good. Okay. Um, ooh. Ooh. You see what I see. Bullet Punch, do we get rid of... Uh, actually, if I use that Ability Capsule... And get rid of, uh... And... Oh! Oh my god! Charizard has some freaking heat coming at him! Hang on, dude! 
And not to get distracted, but oh my goodness. This Charizard has some heat. I think that's all I'm going to teach him for right now, but oh. That is wild. Here, let me go grab Dolphin real quick. Um, what was I saying? It definitely, like, yeah, so the next two videos I'm actually working on, I'm, again, very excited to be working on them. But at the same time, I need, like, a series that I can really lie back on and just, like, have fun with. And there's a few games I definitely want to give a shot. Um, it's just really depending on... How good your moves are. Ooh, we're gonna slam for Thunderfang. I'm gonna boulders for you. And you wanna actually? Just because I know it's actually, uh, yeah, because it's actually viable in this game. And because we can always just come back to it, we're gonna give you that. No, I was gonna say, we can give you Choice Bam, but Scizor has that. But, ooh. Wait, let's check out these updated move sets. These are... Oh my god. I think Charizard had the biggest glow up, but then there's also Scizor. And yeah, the rest of you... I mean, Discharge on you, but the rest of you didn't really have that good, but... Ooh. Swords Dance on Empoleon. That's crazy. Um, but if I could not get distracted for, like, the third time. Uh, there, there is a third... Like, a few games I'm definitely looking forward to, which... I would definitely love to try out, but it's really just depending on how long they are. But I'm definitely like excited to figure out like what new games. There's a few that's not like your traditional Pokemon game, but I'm definitely excited too. That would be cool. Wait, what do you say? The rough have been rendered by the Pokemon League. They're hosting interviews for the inter interim gym leader. Please come back later. Um, so I guess we have nothing else to do. Jimmy got tired. And just because he said he had Psychic. Door appears to be locked. Okay. So where do we go? Where do we go then? Oh, uh, we have a rock climb up there though. Don fan in the box. Cause just we have some rock climb shenanigans to do. And we got TM for bulk up. Um, but now I'm just curious, where are we? Where are we supposed to go then? Cause wait, maybe we're supposed to dive. Um. Okay, we have up here. So I'm guessing we're just supposed to go all the way up here. Would be my guess. I feel like I'm definitely missing something that I'm just too stupid to notice. There's a lot of tentacles up here, so maybe that's actually the way to the Victory Road. Uh, we're supposed to go to Eco, the Eco's Ruins. Unless we're supposed to go through Inmis, Windmiss City? But there is also over here. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna definitely gonna try to figure this figure this out though. Um hang on, I gotta mute my mic for like two seconds.
Okay, so I had to clip the recording there because I don't know why, but I muted my mic for a second to sneeze, and then, <laughs> and then I just fully wouldn't. I didn't realize it didn't turn back on, even though I clicked the button. But to recap, found where the <laughs> the mine is. Uh, as you saw, we took on a bunch of new elder grunts, and as you saw that I didn't realize, our girder evolved into Con at level forty two. So that's cool. He's got guts, so maybe we can find a flame orb or something for him. Uh, that would be sick, but that's honestly pretty friggin' cool. Uh, but now, let's actually just go ahead and keep making our way through the mine. And we have a lot of these new Elder Grunts uh, that have a lot of fossil Pokemon. And you, indeed, my friend, are just kind of getting ancient power boosts. That's wild. Uh, you must be the vigilante child I was warned about. You're an aide to Professor Redwood, correct? How saddening. One would think someone with his smarts would understand our aims. A shame indeed, you see. These are not the actions of some cult. We are merely accelerating the plans of nature herself. The elders of Orthus understand the sanctity of our culture. In fact, this very chamber was designed by the elders. And what fantastic architects they were. It will take a millennial for you to break through this wall. Okay, just because I feel like it's not actually going to take a millennia. Uh, actually, I don't really want to waste any hyper potions. Well, it's contrary with numbers on it. Try and solve it. Yo, that's crazy. So, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 6. Uh, let me write this down, because that was a lot of numbers. Um, uh, 10, 6, uh, 4, 7, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What? Is that not the coat? Wait. Now I gotta look it up. And I love how it just popped up immediately. So we're just gonna. <laughs> this is just a. This is a crazy bunch of. Things. So, um. It's four. Nope, it's six. Four five one nine. Falcon <laughs> well, push the lock. The doorway has revealed itself. I didn't just have to look that up, but actually, just because I don't know how this is gonna be, I do want to just quickly heal up my man's real quick, and let's go ahead and step in. Uh, impressive. Perhaps I underestimated you. You did not quite take a millennium. No, but I did have YouTube. Nevertheless, I now have what I came for. And now I'll crush you. Alright. So we have the Elder Knight Ezekiel leading off with a Skarmory at level 42. Okay. So, that is a thing. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and U-turn out. Um, we're going to go right out into Miguel. Even though we are pretty under leveled, he's gonna sandstorm. All right. So we're after the sandstorm turn, we are going to mega evolve and slap this thing with a boosted sun boosted heat wave because that's how I roll. Go ahead and mega evolve Miguel, set up the sun, and that also cripples his team. But that's also kind of bad because I just realized we kind of crippled our Empoleon there. Um, and we're gonna miss. And he's gonna set up the stealth- Yo, the new elders are setting up stealth rock. Be kinda wild, bro. <laughs> um, I'm gonna click flame burst, because they should- They should KO too. Skarmory isn't really especially defensive. That is beautiful. Alright, so Skarmory goes down. And definitely nervous to switch Charizard again, just because of the stealth rocks, but... 
All right, get him to level 38 and Cradley. So, Cradley, I'm just gonna go with the Scissorgs because I'm actually pretty sure Dynamic Punch is out of PP. Uh, we do have Banded Bullet Punch, so now that we actually have Bullet Punch, I think I'm actually gonna put Technician on Scizor. And possibly if we can get Bug Bite on him. I actually have to double check to see if we have Bug Bite. That would be cool. Um, but how much is Bullet Punch doing? Good, over half. Alright, so another one we'll be able to KO and Amnesia boosting his special defense. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Alright, so we go ahead and just Bullet Punch this Cradley one more time. And hopefully take him out. Beautiful. Absolutely. Now, if we were Technician, that would have done more, but eh. 1809, and Agron's coming out. Okay, I know the sun is up, but uh, Agron is honestly decently, like, not really especially bulky. And this does seem to be his ace, so... Still Rock-type, Earthquake shouldn't be stabbed. Yo, he's Mega! I don't know, for a second I just forgot Mega Evolution existed. He's rocking a Mega Aggron, alright. I was about to say, this Surf ain't doing anything. Um, so now he, he loses the Rock typing, so Mega Aggron's got good attack. He's got a pretty good attack. <laughs> um, but the Sun's still up, he's definitely gonna go for Earthquake, or at least a Steel move. So I feel like it's safe, even though we're gonna take like half our health from Stealth Rocks. It is still pretty safe to switch into Charizard. And yeah, dude, another Earthquake. Sun, I think, goes out this turn? No, Sun stays. Okay, we're gonna try our luck with the Heat Wave again, which does land absolutely beautiful. And this should one-shot? Gorgeous. All right, so we definitely can't switch into Charizard again, but Napoleon's gonna get to level 40. Um, Miguel's gonna gain some XP, and Dewblade, okay. But yeah, we can definitely stay in on this little dew blade. Sun's still up. I guess we have permanent weather in this? Maybe? I don't know, but now since sun's still up, this heat wave should be enough to just O-code the blade. With the crit too! Put him down, Charizard! Oh my goodness! Um, and Claydol is his last Pokemon. Um, do we have any PP left on you? Barely. Okay. So, at this point, um, I feel like a banded U-turn into Empoleon. Or, no, not Empoleon. But I think we're actually just going to banded Fury Cutter. Um, we're honestly just going to hope he also doesn't have any, you know, fire-type moves. Which I don't think he does, but he does have Cosmic Power. Interesting. Um, so how much is Fury Cutter going to do? Still good damage. So, we should be able to take him out this turn, then. If I'm not mistaken. Earth power. So yeah, we definitely can take him out this turn. And we do connect. And... That is the end of Claydol. Absolutely beautiful. So that is the Elder Knight down for the count. And Scizor getting level 40. Absolutely gorgeous. And Elder Knight Ezekiel is defeated. You're just a speed bump in our plans. We've achieved every single one of our goals, despite your childish efforts to stop us. The new elders will bring this putrid world to its knees. And here's a promise, kid. Once Registeel fully awakens, you'll be the first to feel my wrath. You will rue this day. Okay. We will rue. There you are. I just saw the new elders leaving. Let me guess. You sent them running again. I knew you shouldn't have been hesitated getting here. I missed out on all the sweet falcon action again. Joking aside, are you okay? Let me heal your Pokemon. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Uh, so, they captured Registeel. That means they have all three. Regi Regirock, Regice, and Regice Steel. What more could there be to plan their plan at this point? Well, if we don't know, all we can do is train in preparation. Did you hear about the Premise City's Pres Presimos Island's new gym leader? You try to get his badge. You're a really talented trainer. In fact, you could probably be the new champ if you tried. You see three more badges at this point, right? I think it's over, eh? I'll catch you in Presimos Island. Bye! Um, alright. This isn't where we go. Um, uh, we surf all the way up. And get to Presimos Island. And go to the Pokemon Center. Alright, so I think that's actually going to be a thing we do in the next episode, is take on the Gym Leader. Our sixth, our sixth Gym Leader, right? Not safe. 
Yeah, only our sixth gym leader. That is crazy. I feel like the story is like starting to wrap up uh, because they have all three reggies. But in the next video, we'll be going ahead and taking on the sixth gym leader of the game. And we'll see what happens from there. But like always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the uh, like button down below. Also, hit that subscribe button. It should be in the bottom right corner popping up on your screen right now and below the video. Also, check out this video to the right and watch this series from the beginning. And then also, whatever YouTube recommends for you. Um, but with all that, don't forget to drink some water today, and I will see you all in the next one.